a group? I'm in this group right here. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. You look familiar. Like, I'm yeah. like, uh, you not related to somebody famous? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. You know your people's from home. Um, baby, I promise. You. So, is that your people? Yeah. I know it. Oh my God. Is that your dad or something? No. That's yeah, it's me. See? All right, come on now. Nick, <laughs> you are a legend. You a legend. Like, I just need you to know that. This is how we stop so I can acknowledge this the alignment. You a legend. Like, I was just listening to you two days ago. Well, don't stop now, but let that man finish. <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, because we got reservations. So, we're going to buy. What can right, we do? You better understand. You got like a YouTube or something. I need you to do like yeah, yeah. information. And just give me a uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Okay. Well, no, make it simple. Ecclesiastes. Uh, okay. From I, I, I'm going to type, type the name. He said, what's the movement? Yeah. Movement. Yeah. What earth are the organization called? Sakari. 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 Okay. Really, I know people know that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, were the Israelites of the Bible. The Bible's not a book for everybody. It's our book. <laughs> and we got to come back to the power God. The God of the Bible is not for everybody. It's for us. Oh, yeah. The reason we're on bottom right now is because we're in timeout. Because we just made our God. Wow. We go back to doing what he says, we're going to put us back on top. And we'll be the ones, quote unquote, ruling the world. That's right. Okay. So where are we from? Right? Where's that? Oh, yep. yeah, boom. Okay. Boom. I just subscribe. Let me subscribe. Because oh, we on that we on that type of time too. That's right. Oh, yeah, we on that type of time. Yeah, I like what y'all doing. I like the movement. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is what this is what we gotta do. That, that's our main purpose of day. Fear the most I got, keep his commandments. Uh -huh. We do that, we're gonna prosper, we're gonna be on top. We didn't do that, we said. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word to fall into the earth. And shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. It's Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson. This is Luke 15 and 7 uh, through 10. It says, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in the heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle, and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it. And when she have found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the Heavenly Father over one sinner that repenteth. Okay? <clears throat> and y'all. It's a beautiful thing to see, you know, the dude from Jagged Edge, you know, because I did a lesson on him and, uh, you know, on Sakari. They had like a sit down with a couple of females. This is when I first came in the truth, like probably three years ago. And um, <clears throat> now to see him from that point now to being out on the highways and byways, which I had no idea about till I saw the video, you know, that's a beautiful thing, man. He's just with the wrong group. You know what I'm saying? He's just with the wrong group. And, you know, he's still got one foot in and one foot out, man. Okay? One foot in the world and one foot out of the world. Okay? Because I, I looked up and seen if Jagged Edge had any concerts uh, upcoming. And they got an upcoming uh, concert on June the 2nd. Second, Okay? So, and you know, this brother's, I believe the brother from Charlotte, GMS, used to be in the NFL, you know? And he chose the truth over the NFL. You know, which, which, which lets you know you can't do both, man. All right? You cannot, you can't do both. You got to choose uh, one or the other. Let's see if we can get that here real quick.
Salakia. Matter of fact, let's just go to John. Let's go to John real quick. Let's get the book of John. 15. I'm going to start at 16 here. And it says, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll go to Luke after this. Uh, start at 16, John 15 and 16. You did, It says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I commanded you that ye love one another. And it says, verse 18, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Okay? And, you know, yeah, I mean, shit. Them dudes is, is famous, you know? It is what it is. But he's still worldly, man. You know? You can't you can't go out here and, you know, do the things that you used to do when you were in the world, man. Okay? When you enter into this ministry, you got to leave the world behind. You got to leave the worldly things behind. You have to leave the things that you did while you were in the world behind. Okay? You can't be, you know, going out on tours and all that, but this is something that Sakari condones, okay? Because they want to make it <laughs> in the music biz themselves, man. They out here making, you know, them corny-ass rap videos and all that, okay? If he was in GMS, you know, he would be, you know, he wouldn't be uh, doing no tours and all that, man, okay? You have to dead all of that, you know, get you a, a, a job, a nine-to-five or whatever, or, you know, he got bread, open up your own business or something like that, you know, to sustain yourself, you know, while we still here, okay? And, and make it all about the ministry, man. You know, you can't, you going out on tours, man, there's it's a lot of a temptation, you know, that goes along with that, man. And at the end of the day, you're still dancing with the devil, man, you know? It says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. You know? So us being in this truth, we've recognized that since we've came into the truth, you know, we a lot of people have turned their backs on us. They don't deal with us no more. You know? And the longer that you're in this truth, I'm finding out, the more the more of that you're going to see, the more of that you're going to encounter where people just don't want to deal with you no more, man. And that's a beautiful thing. That that lets you know that you're on the right path, man. You know, when people don't want to deal with you no more, when people just, you know, hate you just to hate you. You know, they hate you because, you know, you in the ministry, okay? You're seeking, you're seeking righteousness. The people of the world don't like that, man. Okay, and and that that video right there was an indicator that he he still he still he got one foot in the world and one foot in the truth, man. You know, he got his hat on, reading the word of the Lord. You know, he's not he's not under the right leadership, man. Okay, he's not under the right leadership. But once again, it is it's a beautiful thing to see, you know, he's out there on the highways and byways regardless, you know? But you can't you can't uh, you know, straddle the fence, you know, when it comes to this truth, man. Let's get Luke 16. Luke 16, and I'll read 13. Luke 16, 13, it says, No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve the Most High 
and Manning, and that's pretty much what he's doing, you know? That's pretty much what he's doing. And I'm not trying to, you know, slander the brother or kick him down or none of that, but it is what it is, you know? You, 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 either, you either all in or you all out, man. There's no 50-50s here, man. Either you all in or you all out, you know? And if you was really, a, you know, a true prophet of the, world, of the Lord or a true man of the Lord, you know, you would, you would put all of that shit behind you as far as going out on tours and all that bullshit because the music industry is wicked as hell. It's wicked, man. It's super wicked. So he's still dealing with these things. And, you know, we in a time where, you know, 1 Peter 4 and 17 can, can start at, at any time. Because the Heavenly Father is going to start at his house first, man. Okay? He's going to start with those that know that they're Israelites, man. And we're going to see a lot of uh, brutal judgments uh, go forth. You know, for those that know that they're Israelites, man, this is something that he should consider. You know, this is something that he can, he should uh, consider, man. You know, there's about to be a lot of judgments going forth out here. You can't, uh, that's, for me, that's something I wouldn't do. You know, and I respect the brother, I, 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 Salaki brother, I don't know your name. You know, the brother from, uh, from, uh, GMS Charlotte, I believe he's the head of the camp. I commend him, man, you know, for, and, and it's all through the spirit and power of, of the Heavenly Father at the end of the day, but, you know, he, he put that shit aside and said, yo, I'm just all about this truth. I'm going all in. You know, all of your dreams and your aspirations and all them things go out the window uh, once you enter into this, into this uh, truth, man. Once you enter into this ministry, all of them things are, are set aside, man. Okay? Those are things you can't continue to do. The Lord willing, the Heavenly Father put the spirit on that brother to recognize that and say, yo, I can't be doing this, man. You know? But at one point in time, the Heavenly Father's going to give him an ultimatum. You know? He's going to come to a crossroad. And it's either you're going to go left or you're going to go right, man. And that time is going to come for him, man. And, and Lord willing, he makes uh, the right decision. Uh, let's get uh, Romans 12 and 1 and 2. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of the, of the Heavenly Father, that you present just your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Okay. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Heavenly Father. Okay? So you can't, you can't be a part of this world and be a part of the ministry, man. You have to separate yourself, man. You have to be holy, which means being separate. Okay? And, you know, those large, those concerts is nothing but a, a big-ass seance at the end of the day, man. It's a lot of demonic energy uh, flowing throughout the crowds of those concerts, man. And that's not a place that a man of the Lord wants to be. Shit, being around amongst those many people at, at, in one spot, you don't want to be around that anyway, man. It's a lot of demonic negative energy, man. You know? Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, so that worldly that worldly mindset that you once had is something that you got to put away, man. All right? You're going to have to put that away in order to obtain, you know, what we all seek to obtain, which is what? Salvation, man. You're going to have to put that shit aside. Because being a part of this world ain't, ain't worth losing your life, man. Dying here in the land of your captivity, man. It's not worth it. Let's get Ephesians. Let's get four and uh. Let's 
get 22. 22 here. I'll read 22 through uh, 24. It says that, it says that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Let me see here. Yeah, I'll start here. It says that you put up concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, man. That old man that you was in the world, man. You know? Shit, I had aspirations. I wanted to be this. I wanted to do this, do that. You know? But all that shit, all that stops, man. Once, once you're called into the fold, man. Once you call into this ministry to do the work of the Lord, man. All of that stops, man. Okay, that's not even a, a thought anymore, man. You know, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man, which is after the heavenly father, which after the heavenly father is created in righteousness and true holiness, man. Okay. Separation, man, being separate from the world, man. Okay. That new man. That new man that your family members can't stand anymore, man. That new man that your old friends don't even call and check up on you no more, man. Once they find out, you know, that you've turned, you know, you've turned your 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 life around, man. Everyone that I've told this, man, they all left, all left my life, all left me, man. Everybody, man. Women, friends, family. Everyone that found out that, you know, I wasn't, you know, in the streets no more. Stop, stop dealing with me, man. And it's a beautiful thing. Okay. But one thing that I did do when I came into the truth is that I prayed to the Heavenly Father and asked him to get rid of anyone that was in my life that does not need to be in my life, man. And the Heavenly Father did it so fast and swift. He got rid of everyone, man. You know, so being a part of this world, this world is, is, is death, man. That's the way of death, man, being a part of this world, man. Let me get, uh, I'm going to end here in James, James 4. I ain't want to make this long. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Let's get James 4 and 4. And I'll read to 10. It says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the heavenly father. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of this world is the enemy of the most high. And this is another scripture that this brother should consider, man. You friend with the world, you know, going out there still doing tours and all that, man. And I don't want to come off. I ain't no hater or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But it just it is what it is, man. It's not something that is, you know, it's not something you should you should do. You know? That's not it's not a smart move in in, in my opinion. And I'm just a I'm just a man, you know? <clears throat> but that's not a smart move in my humble opinion, man. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the heavenly father. You know, and you've seen that woman, <laughs> you know, in the clip. She was basically, you know, flirting with him, singing to him, singing his, his songs and all that, holding her man's hand. This dude's standing there looking stupid, man. And you can see, man, he was, he was embarrassed, man. That's why, you know, apostles always say women are, are high pergamists, man. And they always want to go after the, the dude that's, that's on top. You know what I'm saying? And that was a perfect example of that right there, too. You know? And it says, uh, Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the heavenly Father, and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You know, draw nigh to the heavenly father and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, 
he double minded. He's in he's in a double minded stage right now, man. The scriptures say a double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. You know? And it says, be afflicted and mourn and weep. And let your laughter be turned into mourning. You know? Apostle Tahar said, man, you gotta learn to love to uh to to be afflicted, man. Okay? You gotta learn to love that, man. You know, part of your affliction is leaving, you know, things things behind, leaving people behind. Okay? That singing, you know, and stuff like that. He's been doing that all his life, probably, man. That's something that he has to leave behind. And we've all had something that we loved before we came into the truth that we had to let go, man. Be afflicted and mourn and weep and let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness, right? Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up, man. You know, that's beautiful right there, verse nine. Be afflicted and mourn and weep and let your laughter be turned to mourning, man. And your joy to heaviness, man, because we are not in the house of, of, of mirth, man. Okay, we in the house of mourning right now, man. We we in our we in our you know the land of our captivity, man. We still under the curses. Just because we in this truth don't mean that we exempt from death, man. We can still be put to death. We can still be judged. You know, our righteousness are as what? Filthy rags, man. You know? But anyway, man. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully the brother, hopefully the Heavenly Father puts the spirit on the brother to do the right thing. You know, come come out from that camp because they ain't right, man. They not right. They they just not right. And I'm not saying it because it sounds good. I'm saying it because it's the truth, man. They not right. You know, he's not under the right leadership. You know? And Lord willing, the Heavenly Father puts the spirit on that brother to, to turn his back on the machine, man. Okay? On the music industry. You know? And, and, and come... You know, 144,000% to the Lord, man. You know, and truly do the Lord's the Lord's will. But, you know, we'll see. But like I said, 1 Peter 4 and 17 is always something uh, to consider. Let me just get that real quick and I'll end it here. It's always something to consider, man. It's 1 Peter 4 and 17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Okay? And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Heavenly Father, man? Okay? So, yeah, the ones that know that the Israelites are going to be judged first. Okay? So, and that time is coming. That time is coming fast. Jacob's trouble is coming fast, man. You know? So, I just wanted to bring that out real quick. And Lord willing, uh, this lesson was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.